How's it going guys? John Origins here today, bringing you a Are You Battle from the Smogon Wi-Fi Battle Finder. This time it is against Santi 3 and it's a pretty good game, but before we get into it, let me just ask you a question of the day. And that question is, how do you like the new YouTube channel layout? If you haven't seen it already, go to my channel, check it out. There'll be some sort of like my name, you can click that as a hyperlink to go to my channel, check it out. Tell me how it looks. I think it looks great. I think it looks professional, but I want to have your opinion on it. So let's get into the battle after that question. These are my, the same IU team I used a couple of battles ago with the Choice Scarf Typhlosion and the Kabutops, which is Focus Blast. And his team looks very weak to my Typhlosion, to be fair, with his Amoongus, Whimsicott, stuff like that. But I can't really go sweeping until his Feraligate is gone and his potentially Choice Scarf Manetrix out the window. So we got to see how my other Pokemon deal with those threats, and let's get straight into the battle. I'm going to choose to lead off with my Kabutops like always, and he's going to lead off with his Manetric, predicting that. Now, usually I'd like to stay in because I'm actually Focus Sashed, so I can take the hit, get off my Staff Rocks, but I see real no like, no real reason to actually set them up yet. Only this Crystal gets affected by them, I think, majorly, so... I choose to predict the Vault Switch and go into my Megatron, my Golurk, and then fire off a Dynamic Punch, which I wish was Stab, but it's not. So it doesn't do as much as I would like to this Whimsicott, who takes it relatively well. It is a resisted hit, but I figured... No, it's not resisted, is it? No. I figured Whimsicott weren't as bulky, so I was hoping over half, but it turns out not to, and I'm going to have to switch out of here. And because Whimsicott's a troll, I feel like I have to go into my no games, because I accept nothing from this Whimsicott as he goes for Elite Seed, breaking through the confusion. But I can take that relatively well, and then revenge it, yeah, revenge, by firing off a Hidden Power Fire. I don't particularly think the Hidden Power Fire will do much to anything coming in, but I'll go for it anyway, just in case he wants to stay in and fire off like, <laughs> I don't know, like his own HP Fire. But he goes into his Mincino, I think it's Mincino anyway, who takes it relatively well, just under half, and I make a misplay here. I do predict him to predict my switch into Golurk, and then go for the Bullet Seed. But he actually just goes straight for the tail slap, and I'm like, shit, there goes my Sceptile. And that goes down, and unfortunately, he's life orb, so he can change up moves. So I'm not going to go into my Great Luck. I'm in fact going to go into my Twist Scarf Typhlosion, who can actually Oko most things on his team. And it's the biggest threat to his side, to be honest. He can't switch in anything safely when I bring this in, and so this eruption will pretty much Oko most things. And it definitely will echo this Whimsicott coming in. So he's got one Pokemon down. It's I think it's 5-5 five, five at this point. So I it's an equal playing field. I've lost my Sceptile and he's lost his Whimsicott. So I'm, I'm not particularly scared of the Feraligator because I have Sushi. And this Sushi has Intimidate and it's defensive. So I'll be fine whatever the weather, right? And I'm thinking either he's going to be Lumberry or Life Orb. So I'm going to go for the T-Wave to find out which. But he ends up switching into his Amoongus. Who can take the T-Wave because it is relatively slow anyway. And then proceed to try and go for some sort of status move. But as we all know, my Sushi carries the Taunt. I'm going to go for that right now. Protecting his Spore or Stun Spore or something like that. He ends up going for the Spore. And I'm in a good situation now, so I'm going to be free to switch into my Buddha and try and set up some screens to make sure my Pokemon aren't damaged as much as they should be. But he ends up making some sort of switch into Manetric, possibly thinking I'd stay in and set up some hazards, but he ends up going into Manetric and switch to Ruse which I completely forgot about. I don't particularly play much RU, and so I, did, I forgot what Manetric does. I know it usually is uh, Toy Scarfed, but that actually helps me so much, you have no idea. Because now my Typhlosion will outspeed it, and that means I can fire for eruptions freely as soon as this Fridagate is gone. So with that in mind, I'm going to go into my Megatron, I believe on the double switch. And I'm going to predict him to go for the Dragon Dance, and go for a Dynamic Punch. And this will do a lot to the Fridagate, because it won't have any defensive investments, unlike that Women's Cut did. And I'm thinking it'll do over half, if not more. So, yep, it does a good chunk, I'm going to say 60%. And shows the Lumberry, which is great. I didn't T-Wave it before. So now I'm going to switch back into my Sushi because it's the best counter for Feraligator. I know it has uh, the Dragon Dance, but he hasn't shown me any attack moves let, let, yet. But he goes for the Ice Punch, and I'm thinking, shit, this is going to hurt. Not at all. Ha ha ha. But the freeze happens. Oh, no. <laughs> of course, he doesn't have much to hit me. He has the Ice Punch and then the Superpower and, as I learn later, the Aqua Jet. So... 
I have nothing to fear, so I'm going to go for a T-Wave at this point, completely shutting down the Feraligator. It can't hit me hard for damage, and it's paradise. What can it do? So I'm going to go for the Waterfall here and not particularly take it out, and then set up some hazards. Uh, I speed this up because I set up three layers of hazards and then just finish it off. You don't see much particularly, and it's not exactly that interesting. I'd just like to say that I recently got my A level results and managed to get two Bs in History and Chemistry. They were the only two exams I'd taken, I, I had taken, and they did pretty well. The Chemistry one was a bit unexpected. I actually got 70 out of 100, which is just on the grain boundaries for a B. And in History, I got a solid 75 out of 100, which is good enough. It's halfway between B and A, so I'm happy with the results. And his Friday guy goes down now, so let's continue on with the battle in normal speed. That's sped up already, yeah. <laughs> and he brings in my net trick. Big threat, but it's not Choice Scarf, so it's not as threatening. And I'm going to switch into my Butter, knowing that he's probably going to predict my switch into Golurk and actually go for the Hidden Power Ice, which he does. And I take it like it's nothing. I am specially defensive, so I can take any hit. And I think Uxie is more naturally defensively bulky as well, so I can take any hits on the spectrum, but I prefer specially defensive Uxie for some reason as he vault switch out of there. I kind of predict that and go for the U-turn, and that's pretty much a good game, because I go into my uh, Typhlosion and go for eruptions all over the place, and that's game. He's going to forfeit after his crystal faint, so if you enjoyed the battle, guys, please leave a like rating. I have sped up the end, so you'll enjoy it in super fast mode. And like I said, answer the question of the day. It's in the description, and it's at the start of the video if you have forgotten it. Uh, put your responses in the comments, and responses to the battle in the comments, and also tell me what tiers you want me to play. I I want to play a mixture of them, but which one do you want me to play next? I'm very much open for any suggestions. So, like I said, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe. I've been John Origins, and I'm out, so goodbye.